In this video, we're going to be going over the CCA cabinet on a four-channel symphony. This magnet is currently not at field in a trailer, uh, and it's getting refurbished. So, right here, this is called your D3 board. This is what monitors your quench heaters, switch heaters, and the magnet supervision. It also has what's called the telltale fuse. If the quench button was pushed, that light will come on. Over here you have the D2, and somebody put a cool sticker up here, so I guess they could remember it. The D2 is what's going to have uh, the manual battery test, your EIS, or external interference shield reset. Uh, there's the actual plug that you can put in there, and that will turn on the shield for longer periods of time if you need to build up some pressure. It's also got some fault indicators on there. It'll tell you whether the battery is good or bad, etc. Then you move over to the D1. The D1 is going to give you your power supply voltage for the magnet supervision, your current helium level, and on this one we have an F alarm and that and an HE alarm. So the HE, this light right here, is pretty much saying that the helium is below the specified level. Same, same with that alarm right there. Then there's an manual acknowledge. You can do a manual sample, and then if you just if you hold the display temp. That's going to give you the cabinet temperature in Celsius. And then finally the D4 board, which is right here. This is your CAN bus, and this is the other CAN bus. Now the difference is, is again, electrical, and then this is fiber optic. This is where the battery used to be. It's no longer there. I can show you where it is now. The battery on all Schroff cabinets is now tapped is uh, back in the back of the wall there with a newer style replaceable battery by itself. And that's all that there is on the magnet supervision on a four channel symphony.